And now let's talk about the front end pro programmer, the user interface programmer. What does this person do? Well, in, in this case, instead of telling you what their skills are, I listed their responsibilities. And I did that because I wanted to change gears a little bit and, and talk about um, not only who gets to be these people, but what they do. And specifically in the case of the user interface en uh, engineer, the user interface programmer, basically, um, to talk about the things that they are responsible for. So they break down really into, into three parts. User interface widgets. A widget is some kind of gadget, right? We, we saw in our, um, in our view of the, uh, the World of Warcraft user interface, this little gauge had a picture, had, had a little meter on it with life. That's a widget. It's something that allows you to, um, to interact with the user interface. So widget is a general term we use to describe any, any piece of user interface that is kind of mechanical and you, know, you, you move it or tweak it in some way. That's a widget. Um, they make staff tools. Very, very important thing because in addition to making user interface that the end user is going to um, interact with in order to make the application work, there's tremendous amounts of effort that goes on in the, back, in the background, especially in a video game, for, um, for production of the animation, production of the scenery, all that kind of stuff. And that needs application development as well. That needs a programmer to help figure out how to make it more effective, more efficient. Um, you saw in a video, you will see in a video later, someone moves this thing over the, over the scenery and it all of a sudden changes texture. Well, how did that happen? That's a tool that some programmer created in order to give them the ability to do that. So in addition to creating front end or user interface widgets that the end user interacts with, they're also creating tools that the staff interact with. And this goes for any kind of, um, any kind of information system that the staff as well as the end user needs a lot of software to help them do what they do. Okay, so the final thing they do is they link the user interface together with the algorithm. Someone's putting together that algorithm on how do you, how do you decide how much health a particular character has or how do you decide which, um, which actions are available to them on the action bar at any moment in time. And the user interface designer is figuring out when they do this in the user interface, they click this portion of this graphic, then I send this off to the server. Okay, so um, those are the kinds of people that are involved in a project, certainly not all the kinds of people. I, I encourage you, I put a URL on the very first slide with, that has this Warcraft thing, I mean that has the, um, the, you know, the hiring site of, of uh, Blizzard. I encourage you to go up there and look around and just, it is like, on that page there's got to be 50 different jobs that Blizzard is hiring for and they're all very interesting and they all give you a different kind of insight into um, the kinds of things that are going on and the kinds of people that you might want to be. And so I would encourage you, if you have any interest in this, in not even in, in game design, but in any, any aspect of information system design, start looking at job descriptions and start saying to yourself, does that sound like me? Maybe not now, but does it sound like me in five years? Does it sound like me in 10 years? Is this the kind of thing I want to do? If so, how would I get those skills? And how would I get myself to the point where that job description was written for me? So if you work backwards from a job requisition, from a job description on Monster or find those jobs back to yourself you can make yourself into the kind of person that is suitable for whatever job you want and the real question is what job do you want so once you understand what job you want you can start making yourself into that kind of person step by step by step by step by step okay